Hey guys, welcome back to Expo channel. Myself Rakesh and today we are going to learn the new question around the UiPath certification practice preparation series. So let's get started and understand this question. Before this, I hope you guys have already come to the playlist of our channel and started following the UiPath certification playlist which I have created and right now there are already 21 videos which I have already posted. All right, with that, let's get started and understand this question entirely. A developer is automating a process which retrieves technical product details based on user input. Okay, he's trying to automate a process and the job is to retrieve technical product details based on the user input. Okay, the process steps include asking the user for a product name. Let's say you are entering a product name, for example, uh, let's say Samsung TV uh, you have entered a product name or a phone let's say iPhone 13 you have entered using the input as a search string in an online catalog online page or a catalog whatever you call it so on that online web page the moment you enter iPhone 13 what would happen it is going to show you the technical product details how much RAM how much in a tabular format let's imagine in a tabular format it is going to show all the technical details of that specific product so your third step is scraping the structured result list so once you see so you type the name of that product in the search option and hit on enter and after that you would be shown a details of technical uh, aspects of that product okay and then you need to scrape it scrape the structured result list the developer discovers that title of search result page is generated dynamically so the moment you are searching for a specific product every time the page title keeps on changing okay using the search string so here he is using a the developer is using a data scraping because at the end you need to scrape the data structured data from the web page so he is, he is using a data scraping based on the graphics what is the recommended way to ensure the robot locates the correct page so every time the page is changing for example you are typing iPhone 13 there is a specific page link if you are typing uh, Samsung TV then there is a different page if you are looking for a different phone then every time the iPhone 12 again the page link changes the title of this will change okay if the, uh, the title of the page is changing so what should you do are you going to so there are four options given to you and there is one correct answer which I am going to explain you and give you reason as to why it is correct. So the first option fine tune the next link selector property of data scraping activity. So to understand this I have already created a background sequence. For example here the user is asking for an input dialog box. So all these options right um, for example if you go to a data scraping option there is something called you might have not seen it if you select this extract structured data you have something called next link selector so this question is talking about this next link selector fine tune the next link selector property of the data scraping activity is this correct fine tune the selector of the data scraping activity does the data scraping activity even has a selector look at this this is a data scraping activity you highlight does it have any selector so this is a wrong option completely then it is saying fine tune the selector of the attached browser activity so inside the data scraping you have a attached browser activity every time so this attached browser activity yes it has a selector so do you need to fine tune this selector that is a question okay and what is the next option limit the max number of results property to the number of results displayed on each page and create a loop this does not make sense at all limit the max number of results so the max number of results if you highlight this particular activity there you have something called max number of results so do you want to tweak this i don't think this is not does not make sense okay now the question here is you will be completely confused what are these options rakesh what are this i'm i'm you know i'm not getting it okay don't worry we will go through a very simple example and you will understand completely okay so let's get started now for that what i want to do I want you to log into acme-test.uipath.com. I hope as a UiPath learner, you must have already seen this page. So please do log in. 
okay so once you have logged in scroll down and there is an option called vendor okay click on the vendor and then you have an option here called vendor inventory okay click on this so exactly on this page we are going to you know create some demonstration of this so click on vendor click on vendor inventory okay give it a second now you can see the page has automatically changed to vendor inventory so here there are a couple of vendor codes let's say if you are selecting one of the vendor code let's say i am selecting are you okay and hit on check inventory so what is happening the moment i hit on checking inventory if you see the url is also changing okay now let's say if i select uh, it14 if i select this check inventory what is happening the even the url of this one is changing automatically and there is a output so for this vendor these are the details supplier code supplier item more a similar example like our question right similar example of like our question so what i am doing here i used the input dialog box okay and in the input dialog box here i have you know written manually all this vendor ids and there is a simple way to capture it also i am going to tell you so here in the options i have put all the vendor ids so this vendor ids are nothing but these are the ids okay so first thing what would happen the user would get this prompt to select one of the vendor id so once the user selects the vendor id then i am using a open browser activity and i am navigating to the main page for example if you go back to the home vendor and vendor inventory okay so this is the main page so this is the url i have copied and in the open browser activity i have pasted the url of that okay and then below this i am using an activity called select item and remember while you are practicing this because i am using data scraping one of the very important point you should note what is that you should go to the projects tab and go to the settings okay and disable the modern design because we are practicing on the data scraping which is a classic design activity disable the modern design okay very important point click on okay so once you have disabled then you start designing this particular process all right so here i am using a select item activity and i am pointed out to that specific window here to this element and it will automatically give you the drop down so what i am doing i am selecting each drop down and was copying pasting into a notepad and then at the end i copied everything to the input dialog box okay because manually typing is not possible so i use that so here what i am doing i am using um, after the customer is selecting the data i am storing it in the variable called user input and here in the select item activity i am simply using a user input variable so that whatever user selects exactly the same input goes to this select item activity and the purpose of the select item activity is to go to the web page and select that specific item whatever the user has selected okay so this variable will do the job and then i am hit using a click activity to click on this check inventory button that's all very simple after that this is important data scraping okay so let me delete this so that i can show you the, this one data scraping so here what i am doing let's say i have selected a vendor let's say this one the first one i have selected okay so this is the page which would appear now what i am going to do i am going to hit on data scraping and then hit on next and i am going to select one of the item and it will say your selected you have selected a table cell would you like to extract the data from a whole table say yes so what would happen it will automatically scrape all the data from the table if you can see it and then hit on finish so what would happen the moment then it's asking is the data spanning multiple pages is the data available on multiple pages no so i will say no done so the moment you do this the data scraping panel will appear automatically all the activities will appear automatically so in this it is using a attach browser activity and it is using extract structured data uh, activity extract data activity okay these are the two activities being used so now this first activity attach browser activity if you highlight the selector see the data scraping activity doesn't have any selector okay within the data scraping um, uh, within the data scraping sequence there is something called uh, attach browser this is not even activity it's a sequence okay so within the sequence 
there is something called attach browser activity this has a selector now if you look at the selector has something called title okay the title is vendor inventory vendor inventory so let's do one thing let's go back to our web page and let's select some other item let's say i'm selected r00 check inventory so what is happening the url is changing so the url has changed but if if you hit on validate it remains still val valid right let's say let indicate on element url on the top has changed but the title is remaining the same look at it title and url there, there are two different things so title remains one hyphen vendor inventory even though you are changing the page let's say we i am changing the page to something else let's say uh, fr this vendor so again the title uh, url has changed okay now if you hit on uh, open the selector uh, indicate element and try to indicate this page see the title remains the same even the url changes the title remembers the same so here in this example the title does not change but as per our question if the title is changing if you go back what it's saying the condition is the developer discovers that the title of the search result page is generated dynamically that means the title is changing every time so if the title changes where would you attack you would always attack the selector you will put a star or something like that so this title you will put a star wherever is changing you are putting a star there so that any title it will start working so this is the answer guys so you will be working on the title of the the selector of the attach browser activity and you can modify the title if the title is changing okay so this is the answer okay so first of all let me show you this so that you get it and then this is using the extract structure data and this has got multiple properties for example maximum number of results next link selector so these are the various options given are you going to use them no next link selector means if the page is um, having on the result is there on multiple pages then you go for you know spanning on multiple pages when you say, say yes then it will take that indicator where it should click there will be a number there will be a next button right there it is going to have that selector so you are not going to modify any of this okay so your answer is if you go back your answer is this you will fine tune this selector of the attach browser activity okay so that is the answer but after this see after this what would happen after your data scraping the data gets stored in the variable called extracted data table now let's say i want to see this output what i will do i'll use a output data table activity below this okay and um, and here i'm going to write extract data table and then let's create a variable and give it a name called text simple and then i want to see this output how the output is coming so in this example the title is not changing uh, okay that's fine but if the title changes you got to know where to attack and here i'm going to say text save it let's run it so try to do this experiment so that you will understand only when you see all these activities how it is capturing the selectors you would be able to understand okay that is where i should target so let's see so before it starts running let me close this page okay give it a second so the input dialog box is going to prompt me okay the prompt has come let's say i am going to select the very first option okay click on okay so what would happen it will open the main page okay it has opened then the select item activity is going to select that and then click will click on it and then the data scraping is going to scrape the entire data from here and then the output has come do you see de32476 so all this output has come okay if you see entire table has been extract so this is fine let's say if i run it again and try to select a different vendor this time so let's debug it again so getting it so if the title of the page is changing you have to attack the attach browser activity and change the selector over there so the okay let's see let me select let's say it14 i'm selecting okay Okay, before that, did I close that page? Let me quickly close it. Okay, so you can see it has selected. 
so the uh, output look at the output below supplier code right all it and the entire so look at this output and the url okay so it has extracted the data properly now if the title is changing because in our case the title is not changing even the url is changing the title remain the same that's why we did not do any kind of modification but just to show you one demonstration if it changes then where should i attach so i should come to this attach browser activity within the data scraping panel or sequence and then change the selector over here put a star mark while character right so that it understands where to scrape the data from all right guys so you got your answer you, your answer is fine tune the selector of the attach browser activity why not this one fine tune the next link selector of property if the page is there if the output is there on multiple pages uh, and you need to click on our next button for example next button if you click it goes to the next but next page and scrape the data so this option is not at all re relevant so this is a wrong option second option fine tune the selector of the data scraping activity there is nothing data scraping activity as such okay this is also a wrong option so the answer is this fine tune the selector of the attached browser activity okay there is nothing called data scraping activity data scraping is a process and in that there are two activities been used attached browser activity and the extract structured data activity okay so and the last option limit the max number of results property to the number of results displayed on pay, uh, on each page create a loop now this is this is a confusing option this is also a wrong answer okay so you got the answer what is the right answer and why it is right okay guys so thank you so much for watching it we are going to come up with more such interesting contents to build your conceptual knowledge and you every time you select an answer you should be very confident as to why i am right or why i am or why i could be wrong you should have that complete logical answer to the options given in front of you so thank you guys and please do make a note of learning that you are making every day and you will definitely progress and be successful thank you take care bye bye